Courage. Commitment. Desire. This is the blitz, baby! Travis Downey and this is Will Parchman and this is week four of the Northwest Florida Daily News' Prep Football Blitz where each week uh, we get you guys set for Friday night and, and Will before we look at week four, looking back at week three, what kind of stood out to you? Uh, for me, it was uh, Freeport's 33 to 20 win over Jay. Uh, Jay, uh, widely considered, if not uh, the uh, big time contender for that 1A crown, definitely in the top three. Uh, Freeport now probably halfway to uh, to getting that impressive duo and uh, South Walton's next. So, yeah, 1A. It's going to be a nice yeah. race to watch this year. I was really impressed. Uh, I was at the game, Fort Walton Beach. The, the way they defeated Pace, 22-21 overtime win. Did it with some timely defense, goal line stand, forced some key turnovers. Luke Barnes tied the record, but uh, a big win for Fort Walton Beach. In a number of ways. Starting off the slate, we got uh, Rocky Bayou hosting uh, Jefferson County. Uh, a couple of teams looking for some traction earlier in the year, a couple of 0-3 teams. Yeah, looking for some wins, yeah. like you said. Yeah. And, and this is uh, Rocky Bayou has been a hard team to get a read on. Uh, they have a shootout with Penile week two, then they get shot out last week in a 40 nothing loss. So uh, they're looking for some for, for some identity and for some wins. Uh, I don't think it's going to come this week. Uh, Jefferson County has a lot of speed and speaking with John Reeves, and that's something his team has lacked at times this season. So I'm going to go with Jefferson County. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, imagine my surprise to pick Rocky Bayou last week and see that 40 to nothing scoreline. Uh, you were brave. I was. I, I went out there, but I don't think uh, I don't think they're be getting, it, get, getting it done this week. Uh, definitely taking Jefferson County, despite uh, Rocky Bayou starting a third game at home there. Right. That's a, that's a tough start to the year. Uh, moving on, we've got Sneeds at uh, Freeport in a District 1A battle. Um, Sneeds undefeated as well. They're they're two and zero in, in district, and uh, Freeport's one and zero. So this is going to be a big game. It's going to be a great game. And, and for for Freeport coming off that win on the road at Jay, you just hope that they can carry that over. Because uh, a lot of momentum was gained in that game. Uh, I like Freeport. I, I like Cole Weeks. I like the season he's had. Nathan Hendrickson. He's coming along too after having some ankle injuries earlier in the year. Uh, I like Freeport at home uh, to get this win. It's going to be a close one. Yeah, absolutely. I I, I think it's going to be one of these uh, these really close battles. But I, I do like Freeport. Uh, uh, just with the experience that they have, um, I, I think you know we maybe start looking ahead. Uh, they got South Walton October 8th, and I, I think this game will uh, will be a big building block for that. And I do think they uh, they get the win there. Uh, we, now we got South Walton. Speaking of those Seahawks, they're uh, they're at Baker, a Baker team that's been struggling, uh, but not uh, not mightily. Right. Yeah. There. You know, Baker's been right there in some games. Uh, South Walton, on the other hand, 3-0, and all on the road. I mean, you talk about road, road warriors, that's the Seahawks this year, and they're doing it with defense, too. Uh, I like South Walton to get this win. Uh, I've been really impressed with Jay Gatto, uh, running back they have, uh, as well as Brian Adams, Chris Schock, 244 yards last week. I think South Walton would just be too much for Baker this, this week. Yeah, it, it's, it's hard to dismiss Baker too much just sure. because of that 0-3 uh, record, 0-2 in district. They have looked you know, pretty good at times, but I think South Walton's just been way too strong on the road. They've beaten uh, teams that have been better than Baker this year on the road, so I, I definitely am going to take uh, take South Walton in that game as well. Uh, now Walton get back into action after having to buy uh, last week yep. at uh, Mariana, a team that was kind of their foil in district last year. Yeah, you know Walton struggled in district last year, didn't win a game in district if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, Walton's coming off of a big win at Ashford Academy. Uh, Liam Miller, four touchdown passes. Uh, they've had a week off to kind of heal the wounds and, and hopefully build some momentum. I'm going to go with Walton. I think this is going to be a really close game as well. Mariana uh, lost to Bay last week one-sidedly uh, on that hand, but I'm going to go with Walton in this one. I, I, I kind of struggled with this pick for a little bit. Uh, uh, Mariana looked pretty good, pretty good against mm -hmm. Walton last year, um, but uh, I, I do like, I, I think after kind of a shaky start to the year, Walton, uh, they looked good last week. They had an off, off week to, uh, to prepare for this game. It is on the road um, against a, a you know historically a pretty good Mariana team, but I do like, uh, like Walton in that one. That's as well. Um, now we got Rutherford at Choctaw. Uh, Choctaw open up its uh, its home slate. Uh, it, this is a Rutherford team that has a win. Choctaw, well, not, not so they're lucky. They're at home. They're yeah. at home. You know the road has not been kind, but they're at home now. They've had a week to forget about that 49 nothing beat down at Niceville. Yeah. Uh, you know, lick their wounds, get a little bit better. I, I'm going to go on a limb here. I'm going to say Choctaw wins this game. I, I think they'll yeah. they'll find a way at home, home opener. Crowd will be behind them. Uh, they're going to find a way. Choctaw gets this one. Here I am thinking I'm going to be the uh, the guy out there on the limb <laughs> picking Choctaw. I'm, I'm, uh, this is my upset special of the week. I, I think Rutherford's good, but they're not great. This is a good opportunity for Choctaw to you know take one on, at home against a, a home crowd that's sure to be buzzing. Uh, I do think it's going it's to be a slight upset if they do win, but I do uh, kind of see them uh, maybe at, a la at the last second. Or uh, Rutherford lost this guy, uh, a not so good a Scambia team, pretty bad. So yeah. you know that's that's there too. Yeah. Pine Forest at Navarre. 
um, a Pine Forest team that I wasn't so sure about, but they played Niceville yeah. really, really well. Yeah, Pine Forest, very good football team. Navarre still trying to find a way to get a win. And it's been a struggle for Navarre and Chad Lashley this season. I think uh, Pine Forest, just a little bit too much for, not to, for, for Navarre right now. Easy for me to say, I'm gonna go with Pine Forest. Yeah, I, I definitely uh, think, especially after the way they played uh, that 28 to 20 loss to, to Niceville, um, gotta take Pine Forest in this game. Uh, they, looked, uh, they looked pretty good. Um, and, and then we've got, uh, we've got Catholic at Crestview. Um, this Crestview team, you know, been playing lower division teams all year, and this is one but it's not going to be the same as, uh, as what they've been seeing. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a better barometer of what uh, Crestview has exactly. They've been pounding and just beating up some lesser competition early on this season, doing it convincingly as they should. Pens uh, Pensacola Catholic, on the other hand, uh, raises the bar. Uh, yeah. So I think Crestview's going to win. I think it, it, it's going to be a closer game than maybe some would expect. But Catholic is going to give them a, a much better barometer of where they are getting ready for district play. I like Crestview. This is going to be one of those like, slobber knocker, uh, you know, set them up and knock them down kind of games. If, if you love games and fought in, uh, in the trenches, you're going to love this one. I think uh, I think uh, Crestview has, has gained some confidence early in the year. I, I think their running game is, is one of the best in the area. Um, I, I do like Crestview at home uh, in, in this game. Uh, and then finally, we've got uh, Godby at Niceville. Another intriguing 4A Niceville against a lower division Godby team. But this Godby team uh, beat Pace yes. by 10 earlier this year. And this is a, is a Godby team uh, that's ranked number 7 in 2A. I mean, this is a serious, serious uh, game for Niceville. It's going to be a, a, a really good game. A lot of scoring could happen. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I like Niceville to win this one. Uh, I think, you know, looking at Godby, they've had two losses, both to bigger classification classified schools and they've been really close uh, but I still think Niceville is just too much. They're the cream of the crop right. in this area. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, one thing about uh, uh, John Hicks coach team is they beat teams they're supposed to beat. Yep. Uh, they may lose to, uh, to those evenly matched uh, teams every once in a while, but they do beat uh, these lower division teams uh, pretty pretty regularly. So I, I do like Niceville in that regard. Yep. Even though uh, you know Roy Finch kind of up in the air after that uh, sure. that concussion last right. week, we'll uh, we'll we'll see on his uh, his status. But uh, even still, they're they're too deep. I like them as yep. well. Uh, that will uh, wrap it up this week uh, for the Blitz. Uh, I'm Will Parchman. This is uh, Travis Downey, and uh, we'll see you again next time.